In this video, we will talk about how to convert a recursive formula to an explicit formula. So when you have an arithmetic sequence, there's two ways to describe that sequence. One is by writing a recursive formula. So here's an example of a recursive formula. We're told a sub one, so the first value in the sequence has a value of four. And then we're told to find a sub n, so to find the nth term in the sequence, we must do the n minus one term, so the term right before n, and add six to it. Now, an explicit formula uses this format. It says a sub n is equal to a sub one, so the first term in the sequence, plus n minus one times d, where d is the common difference between the terms. Now, the key to writing a recursive formula as an explicit formula is to recognize that whatever this term is out here, so when we have a sub n is equal to a sub n minus one, what we're adding or what we're subtracting right here, this is d, the common difference between the terms. So that's what you can plug in to this formula right here. So if we want to write this recursive formula as an explicit formula, here's how we would do it. We would say a sub n is equal to a sub one, we're told is four, so we can just write four, plus n minus one, times d, where d is the common difference, and we said that's the six right here. So we just write a six. So that's it, this is our explicit formula. Now, sometimes you'll be asked to simplify this, so if we want to do that, we could just distribute the six into these parentheses. So we would get a sub n is equal to four plus six times n is six n, six times negative one is negative six, so we could combine this four and this negative six, so we could say a sub n is equal to 6n, 4 minus 6, that's negative 2. So a sub n is equal to 6n minus 2. So that's how we can write this recursive formula as an explicit formula. And the benefit of using an explicit formula is that if you want to find the nth term in the sequence, so let's say we want to find like the fifth term, all you have to do is just plug in a 5 for n. So 6 times 5 is 30, minus 2 is 28. So the fifth term in this sequence would be 28. With a recursive formula, if you wanted to find the fifth term, you would have to know the n minus one or the fourth term and then add six to that. So that's why it's called a recursive formula. You have to recursively know each previous value to find the next value. So that's how you can convert a recursive formula to an explicit formula.